okay guys uh, let's start with the very basic fundamentals like uh, what is a network so i know that most of you would have studied graphs uh, if not in networks you would have studied it in algorithms if not that in you have studied in basic data structures so just like uh, you guys used to visualize it a uh, graph is something which has a lot of nodes okay so these are the objects which we will work on again these objects can be anything uh, there should be some relation between these objects okay so that particular relation is denoted by an edge so this thing is called as an edge okay uh, a simple example of that can be a social network among all of your school and college friends i think we gave that example in the last video uh, the second one can be a clustered network of uh, even your college between departments so let's say that uh, there are 15 friends okay and uh, i'll try to take a real example here because that might help you understand things a little bit better so let's say i'll represent uh, people from a uh, cs department using yellow i'll represent people from uh, let's say mechanical department using red and i'll use uh, green for people from let's say electronics okay so let's say these are the three uh, category of groups that i have and i have taken uh, 20 people at random so i know all the csc people uh, are here then i have let's say five mechanical people here uh, which is seven five seven now i have three more uh, people from electronics okay so let's say this is the group that i'm observing now uh, all of these people will be a uh, different node so it will be like say cs1 cs2 cs3 cs4 cs5 and uh, same what mech and electronics now say i'm assuming that all the cs people know each other but the problem is that three of these people are from a section so they're always connected all of them know each other so all of uh, the edges possible among them will be created only this guy knows these two people okay these two people are not aware of the people in the other section but somehow this guy is connected to these two mech guys okay maybe let's say because uh, they are roommates so i'll not represent this thing with a white i'll represent this relation with a blue okay i'll try to erase this so let's say uh, classmates or uh, college peers okay uh, is connected uh, with this thing so i'll first take only the relations which are with a classmate okay so the classmates know each other okay so the classmates are aware of who all are their friends so all of these people know each other this white thing this white line relation is basically your one particular kind of an edge and that is your classmate okay now uh, other than that let's say we have another relation of being roommates okay so this guy knows these two guys because they are roommates this guy uh, knows this guy and the electronics one so these are their roommates um these three are roommates so they know each other via roommates uh similarly these three guys are roommates so they know each other now these are the two relation let's say i'm taking right now that you are uh, roommates and uh, let's say classmates these are the two relations that i have now the thing here is that uh, if i have to see let's say these two nodes i have this kind of a relation i have two edges here and this is something which would have been uh, very uncommon for some of the people who have studied graphs from computer science subjects because what usually happens in computer science is that you either have a directional or a bidirectional graph which we have here as well but you never have two edges between the nodes okay you tend not to have because most of your algorithms then doesn't work there so the good thing here is that we will not be uh, figuring out paths all the time we have a lot more analysis to do and uh, these relations okay they will usually be different relation for example one of them will be uh, being a classmate and one of them will be being a roommate so the reason for that is let's say if i say that uh, i want to know that one of uh, this guy this guy actually had a birthday party okay and he doesn't have the budget like most of the people on their birthday uh, don't have the budget so he has a limited number of people to uh bring in so if it would have been a school uh again we won't have roommates in school so let's take college itself and he has budget only for three people okay and you know uh the trend you do you want to know the trend let's say uh that whether he chooses his uh classmates or his roommates 
and anyone who has ever lived in a college knows that this particular relation would be much more bonding because you are actually sharing a room with these people so one person is chosen from let's say your roommate you are definitely going to choose your roommates uh, this relation will be there so these two people will be uh, asked for now i have the third person so i need to connect someone and let's say it is connected between these two people okay then i'll see that okay he is uh, asking the this person and not this one even if both of them are their roommates okay so in that scenario i can know that the weight of this particular graph will play a lot of role it means that okay both of you are roommates uh, both of you are classmates but how close this friend is to you right and let's say this is uh, among a college students it doesn't make any a uh, lot of sense but let's say each of these graphs are between uh, actors and i have to choose a brand ambassador or all of these graphs are between fans and uh, the stars okay the star star will be this person and all of them are fans so what will happen is that uh, in that particular scenario and there will be no relation like this will be one star and so many fans it will second star and so many fans and third star and so many fans because fans don't like fans they look they like stars right so all of these people and let's say i want to focus on these people okay so i will know that okay if i have to capture these people they will not listen to him some of them will listen to him and all of them will listen to him so i'll choose this particular guy to make my ad right so these are the kind of activities you can do when you have a social uh, network like this okay so that is something that you need to remember a uh, couple more questions like that uh, we can see that uh, how fast uh, will the whatsapp message share so let's say that uh, and this is a common trend everybody knows people forward messages as they see, uh, as they see something funny right so let's say i have uh, hundred hundreds of people in a network and there are some relations between all of them they are well connected some of them are connected with each other some of them are isolated uh, or connected with a small isolated group and all of these relations are there right so now i want to know that if i have to feed in some information or what actually happens is misinformation let's say which of these people will be the fastest to share that particular message okay so what i can detect is that let's say this is the person if i uh, share the message with him it will reach the entire network in 3 seconds this guy it will take uh, reach in 5 seconds this guy it will take let's say 2 days okay so if i want to detect a particular place from which i can actually spread a particular message let's say an elitism message or uh, some kind of a reaffirmation for let's say that this is not a correct information i want to share that with everybody that that particular thing which was uh, spread across all the groups by somebody is a misinformation this person can do it the best right so that kind of analysis can be very well done similarly let's say that i want to give out offers okay and i want to give let's say uh, buy one of the item and plus take a small sachet of what i'm offering a new product right now i have to detect which of the products would people buy the most so that they get to taste this particular thing let's say i uh, attach it with uh, um let's say a soap okay uh, my product is a, a shampoo okay it makes sense people who use soap uh, who buy soap most importantly they are the people who will be uh, using uh, or buying the uh, what do you have this uh, other cleaning uh, materials as well right whereas in case if i add this particular thing with a biscuit not necessarily right because maybe some of the people who is buying a biscuit or let's say uh, a packet of a mixture right maybe they are not the people who will uh, be buying this particular thing even if they like this particular thing let's say uh, you are the one who is going to buy maggi okay and i give a sachet of let's say pantene with it okay you use pantene you loved it but your mom didn't use this particular sachet and she is the one who is going to bring in the next bottle of shampoo so pantene didn't make any sense to attach with maggi right whereas in case of adding that particular thing with uh, let's say a dove would make sense because dove is something the mom will buy right and these are some basic interpretation like if i had to then i would definitely choose uh, pampers the reason is that dove maybe some parents are buying maybe some kids are buying i don't know uh, but pampers definitely not the 3 year old is buying her mother is only buying that and if i have a, a product which is focused on let's say females between 25 to 40 then i'm going to attach it with pampers 
and even in pampers which particular pampers which particular brand and all those things i can get to know that what is the right product in which i can attach this particular thing so that it spreads like wildfire right so all of these uh, analysis and these are just some examples there are tons of other things which you can study here so these are just some examples on how you can use or you need to figure out a way that can you draw down the problem that you have in form of a network from the information that you have and then how can you build a uh, process through which uh, at least you can visualize at an abstract level that you can solve this problem right if you can do that on an abstract level that if i know this then i know this then i don't know this i'll be able to make the decision and all of them can be conceptualized in terms of networks then hopefully you will be able to do that after the end of this course right so that is basically what a uh, social network analysis can do uh, from the next video onwards we will see uh, a little bit more on uh, what are the types of graphs and what are the properties of each of the graphs like uh, your edges and nodes